Welcome to Around the Reel with your host, Aaron Carlson, Charles Lawson, and Samantha Hale. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Hi, oh, what's there up? There she is. Okay. <sighs> A back? lot. Yeah, you're back now. <laughs> yeah, you're back, I think. Yeah, we've, uh, we've been fucking busy, Coco. <laughs> it's been crazy. It's always busy. The weather gets nice and it, everything just goes nuts. It goes to shit. Well, we have nothing but shit weather, which is super fun. Oh, really? Oh, that's Where are you at? Oh, um, I'm in LA. Okay. Oh, well, look at LA. You guys always get all the nice weather, though, so I, I don't know. really feel bad for you. Yeah. yeah <laughs> this has like, been crazy. It's literally like, I mean, normally we're like, it's under 70, we're freezing. But this year it's like 50. It's like actually really cold every day. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Like it's like Richard Pryor said, Richard Pryor said it back in the day. He's like, oh, when it, when it gets cold out here, what's it get? About fifty? <laughs> you guys don't know cold. No, you have no. Idea. I know. Man. I mean, I know. I'm from New York, so I know oh, cold. Oh, okay. Okay. You, you do know, know cold. cold. Oh, yeah. So you know it's cold. It also but explains I moved the here and immediately. <laughs> <you can't, yeah. laughs> oh, I'm from New York. I can hang. I'm not an LA baby. <laughs> Good deal. We so like fun. we like the New York. You can hang in the cold, but you, how are you doing in the heat? I love it. New York has a lot of high heat nice, too. I know. Yeah. yeah it gets warm there. Huh. No, here is like, I'm, I got here, I moved here seven years ago, I think, almost or six. And I, I mean, I was living all over the place, but I'm from New York, you know, born and raised. And I was going for a run one day, like three months into living here in a turtleneck. I was so cold. I think <laughs> I had like the things around my hands and I was going for a run and I got in and it was 65. <laughs> I was like, I am pathetic <laughs> what happened i like, called my dad and like confessed i was like i need something i don't know I'm like, mm. forgive me father for i have sinned <laughs> literally <sighs> Okay. So finally, finally, yes, we've finally been we like dying to talk to you. Yeah, I know. And Chuck, yeah. watch... and Chuck watched the movie now too. So. Yeah, since we watched oh, the yay. fucking movie, it's like, Coco, what the fuck? We were just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like... Not many people can carry an entire movie. No, and it's so like. So we're literally, like, we're bowing. <laughs> Not many here. people we can love. carry a part of a movie. Right. I know. Thank you for all well, of that. Before, before Honestly. We, before we jump in, let's introduce her. Oh yeah, let's you know, do that. So you can well, go she ahead can and do introduce ourselves. Yeah, she can do that. You introduce yourself, yourself so then we we'll start talking about. She all can this introduce stuff. ourself now. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. You can introduce yourself. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, I should introduce she you guys because your Zoom names are so excellent. Oh, uh, thank Aaron. you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Chug, boo boo, kitty fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Coco uh, Marshall. Um, yeah, I'm an actor, and you guys got to introduce me by my. Wonderful, amazing director Rick Ives for Solid Rock Cup. Um, yeah. All right. I don't know what else you want to know. Okay. Well, let's that's, let's that's start the, with that's a good start. I would let's, say. Let's yeah. just start oh, real God. quick with the wonderful Rick Ives. Okay. <laughs> like really, I mean, there's four oh. wonderful people on the planet. I'm one of them. Uh -oh. So there's only three slots left. So. Is Rick Ives Rick really Ives. that wonderful? Does he no, get one of them? I'm he putting him one. in there. I would God say damn. he gets one of them. I would. A hundred percent. Rick's, he Rick's also says, man. hi, I miss you guys. And oh. um, I texted him today. I, mean? I was like, I'm finally doing an interview. <laughs> and he said, hi, I miss, tell them I miss them. And um, tell them that the movie is premiering on YouTube, coming out on YouTube uh, June 1st. Oh, Ooh, badass. Good okay. for him. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Good for him. Nice. Um, nice, nice. So, I don't know why he says he misses us. He knows he can call me and talk to me or I any mean, of us anytime. He's fairly. just being weird. What a, what a martyr. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, a, but a message away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We are Rick. but a message away. Like, tell them yourself, Rick. Rick. <laughs> I, 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 I really? hear people, people tell me third hand that somebody else misses me more than the people who miss me ever reach out to me. So whatever. <laughs> exactly. I know. That's that a, was, that a, was, Coco, that, you got two fingers you, up. Though. I appreciate the relay. <laughs> No, yeah. we love Rick. We do. Yeah, he's great. He's he is funny. absolutely yeah. awesome. I love that guy. Um, yeah, he's and awesome. he made. He, you guys made a badass movie. Literally, I mean, I, like, honestly. Like we told Rick on the show when when we sat down, Sam and I sat down and started watching it, and I'm like worried. Like the first ten minutes, I'm like, dude, there's no way that they're gonna pull this off. There's no fucking yeah. way. It was, it was, yeah. And we within totally. and within a few more minutes after that, I'm I'm locked the fuck. Oh, we're in. Dead like in this it. is good shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
So <laughs> yeah, uh, and we're like so so just I'm impressed, just um, amazed. So impressed. A bank heist movie with no bank. <laughs> it's fucking I know. dope. I know. It's so good. crazy. And and literally, you carried the whole thing. Yeah. And all your. I mean, we were just like, what? Is so this? what's yeah? So let's let's start the questions. Here we go. Okay, Coco. Okay. So what's it feel like <laughs> to know that you're jumping into a screenplay like that, being the lead, and then knowing that you have to carry this motherfucker? Were you intimidated? Yeah. That's were what you? we want to know. Like, how'd you yeah. feel? Yeah. You were? Were you really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. I was, um, <clears throat> well, I, I started watching, like, there's so many, there's very few movies like it with one yeah. location, one actor, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I, the ones I had seen before, I'd seen one, Locke. With Tom Hardy. That's great. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that's, see, great that's one I yeah. haven't even seen. I that's was thinking movie. like, I've oh, seen. it's great. Yeah, it's, it's really it's good. It's dope. Yep. Yeah. Um, and he's like, you know, king of like less is more. So he gives almost nothing and you're like captivated. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, besides that, I've seen, I, there's just, they just don't make them normally. So I was like, how the fuck am I going to do this? Like, I was, I mean, I obviously was like excited about it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd auditioned a year prior and never heard anything. So I was like, oh, bummer, you know, whatever you, we just forget about them. It's so normal. Mm -hmm. Um, but I loved yeah. all the voices and stuff. Cause I was like, that's like totally my thing. I love that. Um, so I was like really disappointed when I didn't hear anything. And, uh, but yeah, then he called me and, um, I was like game, you know, no matter what, I was like, this is so cool. Like what an opportunity. I just hope I don't fuck it up. Okay. <laughs> like, um, oh yeah, God. I was pretty, pretty terrified. And just like, how are we going to do this? Like, I'm, uh, I think most actors, but I'm definitely a person that like gets a lot from my scene partner. Like I'm, mm -hmm. you know, really like, that's so important. Yeah. To play and off to of to not that. have huh. that. Yeah. 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 yeah I, and I'm like, the same thing. You, you, totally. Like that's, I think to me, like the first 10 minutes or the first, that long one -er, that's like yeah. the first I think, uh -huh. opening scene is, it's like my least favorite performance wise, my least favorite part. Cause I'm like, that was, we shot that like the first day. So we didn't know each other. I was like alone in my <laughs> hotel room. Of course, I'm so busy leading up to this. I had literally no time. I like shot, that was the most insane. It was like eight weeks, I think. And I shot one of everything. I had a commercial, a feature, an episode, and a short. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. Like, and I'm working and doing a million other things. Like, who knows what the fuck I'm doing, but I was busy. But you had it down. Like, how did- Oh my God, I was what? like, such a wreck. <laughs> so I just was like, to me, it comes out very robotic because I also had a time, you know, each call really is two minutes. And we just played the recordings through. So like, I had to practice with the, with the recordings and also remember like, you have a lot of time between these two lines. You have almost no time between these two lines. So like, remember my pacing, but then also make it seem like not a robot. Right, that you're in <laughs> no, the moment. I yeah. didn't yeah. feel like you see, you didn't no, seem robotic didn't. at all to no, me. No. Not at all. That's why she carried this one. Right, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it was, and, it, they, and they so, your phone recordings were recordings that you were listening to. So it wasn't actual somebody feeding you lines through, through an open line. No, it was a recording. Yeah, Rick had mentioned that. Great, Rick. Wait a minute. Rick put the pressure on. Yeah, he didn't fuck <laughs> really around. Yeah, he put her on the know, spot, he, yo. He didn't get a shit. God, but you pulled it off. <laughs> yeah. So it's And all so he kept impressive. saying was, you know, you can do it. Yeah, exactly. That's what wonderful people like me and Rick do. We put people on the oh spot. Oh, my like God. That. No, why? It's, great. it's great. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Once I realized I, I he was one this. of the four wonderfuls, I was like, okay, I trust him. Once he, he'd go, like, after a good one, he'd be like, all right, uh, circle take to, for someone to circle it. And I'd be like, like, that's how you knew, like, he got what he wanted. And after, oh, okay, like, day okay, three, okay. I realized he, like, I 99% of the time fully agreed. And I'd be like, yes. Like, sometimes okay. you end a take and they're like, that was great. I'm like, actually, it wasn't. Like, that was, like, 40%. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> that was, like, I'm not, that was bad. Yeah. But once I realized, like, Rick has a good eye and, like, he knows exactly what he needs. He knows exactly right. how he's going to edit it. Yeah then it was easy it is yeah. yeah and that's that's the beauty of being an editor and a director i'm, I'm yeah. one of those you you yeah. know when you get it because mm -hmm. i can see it too yep. i know exactly yeah. where he's at so it makes sense so i yeah. think it actually yeah, Aaron yeah, likes to make his actors mad because you know the actors would be like could we do more it's like you don't need it 
I got no, it. I, no. I, I got <laughs> it. Let's move on. That part of the, the, from that angle, I got the part I needed because it's not staying on that angle. So yeah, we're good. Right. We're going to the next thing. I know. Yeah, I got it. But it's I like kills us. us. I, I know. Well, you they guys know what it. they need, though. These actors, they fucking hate it. I That's why it. I'm like, I quit. I'm not acting anymore. I don't want to do <laughs> You got to put some trust. You got to put some solid, so hard. <laughs> solid rock trust I, in us. You know funny. what I mean? Okay. I literally had to get so drunk. It was like, <laughs> is this even, it's not even worth it anymore. Besides that, can, what can you do with this? <laughs> I'm hammered. <laughs> I'm hammered. <laughs> like, this isn't going to work. <laughs> no, exactly. That was yeah. Oh, that's good stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, um, I like. Like um, uh, working with uh, director editors. Oh yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's great, but it's I do great. want. I like also having like extra takes. Like I like that. Can we get an actor's take? And can we have a playful one? And half That's the time they're I like, hate. sure, whatever. I hate like, all the takes. I'm like, stop <laughs> taking. Let's not keep. <laughs> I know, but like no. but <laughs> actor actor creatives want to have that freedom. You know yeah, what I mean, they want to play it. around yeah. with yeah. it. Kind of like last night when we were filming. You know, let's do yeah. a couple just off script, and then you guys. And then they want to ad lib. Yeah, and then their ad lib is what I'm mm -hmm. using because yeah, it's way definitely. better. It's way always better. Always is. It always fucking always. is. It always is. Yeah, it's more natural. It's way better. It seems more mm -hmm. real every yeah. fucking time. Yeah. It right. Does, it, you just got to roll with it. You know. I so, know. so you wasted all those takes on making them do that same old thing, like. Well, there's, times. you know, no, it's not even that. It's, it's like, you know, if you go off <laughs> script, if you go off script, you know, you got what you needed. But then if, if they do that improv and they're, they're playing with stuff, sometimes, you know, like even Ira last night, one of our actors, you know, mm -hmm. he, he, he stepped on the other person's lines while they were kind of ad living. And they know it, and they're like, fuck, we fucked that up because, you know, I over-talked her. I'm like, no, it's fine. We'll do another one. Keep playing with it. And then they get one out. And then when they finally got it out, it was gorgeous. It was perfect. It was perfect. So it happened. What was but, it? You know, what what if they... Filming? Oh, our horror -verse stuff. We've got a series oh. that we're making and all that. Oh, the, yeah, every yeah. Episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. But um, cool. I, I totally agree that... You know, any writer out there or director or anybody who's a storyteller that's working with other people, they need to, they need to get off their horse mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just let you guys do your shit. Honestly, yeah. that's Let you guys me. do your shit. That's what bothers me is when people don't let people put it their sucks. own personality into the part. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I hate that. I think that's trash. Yeah, they can't. They You're can't missing be out on stuff. so much. Magic. You're missing out. Yeah. Yeah. They, they really are. Yeah, because you know. Because that's what matters. I mean, that's what you pick. That's what we personally, us three, pick people for is their personality, mm -hmm. and we want that to come out in whatever we're doing. And that's why we kind of we don't really do auditions for our stuff. We just kind of pick people. We're like, you're doing <laughs> this. Yeah, we reach out. I got a part for you. You want yeah, it? And they're like, just, oh yeah, sweet. I'm like, cool. And, you're and, in. And we don't pick <laughs> off how pretty people are. We just go off no. of what we. Yeah, what we it's see, their acting. Yeah, it's like, their acting and personality. It's right, yeah, and Aaron yeah. always writes stories yeah, with people are. in mind. Yeah. Who they are. Exactly. Yeah. Their attitude, yeah. you know. I want to work with people who are excited about it, who are serious about it, and are fun, and they understand family kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't need someone coming in, walking around, wanting their bonbons and their fuck. I said bonbons. <laughs> Who's bonbons? Right? I don't. I know. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, Peg Bundy See, eats bonbons. So. Right? You know what I mean? Bonbons. It's a drive-in. When you went to drive-in when you were a kid back in the 70s, you, you got bonbons. bonbons. <laughs> and in the 80s, it turned into ice cream. Yeah, yeah. They still are ice cream. Yeah, like I said, four, four wonderful people know what bonbons are. <laughs> they all know. Oh, old people know what I'm bonbons clearly not old people. <laughs> <laughs> you're not one, you're too young. <laughs> not um, a bonbon eater. <laughs> <laughs> they have gluten, lactose. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. probably not. Uh oh. Oh, so. oh no. Oh, Dietary restrictions. <laughs> you're wrong. You, you can eat whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> But anyway, I couldn't agree more. So did did you have that freedom with Rick on set? That was my next question. Yeah, for I you. feel like he's one. Um, Rick, totally. But with this, the way we were working, no. Mm -hmm, Just mm -hmm. because, I mean, when I had moments of like, he, he is like a really good permission giver, which I love. Like just... I, like sometimes now I literally tell directors sometimes like if, if I'm having an off day, I'm like, can you just like say it to me? Like give me permission to like play and like do, you know, if there's stage direction that says whatever and it doesn't feel right mm -hmm. to me, like, is it okay that I just do what feels right? And like Rick is very, really great about that. Like you do you, this is your character. She's yours. So Badass. Yeah, you bring it to life however you want. Definitely. But dialogue wise, I couldn't. Okay. Like, 
I couldn't add like a pause or like a um or anything, you know, or change really much because the response would be off. Or the timing well, would yeah, be it would be. The it timing would, change, would be off. And, it would you know, change too a good much. Point. I mean, different and different kind of story yeah. yeah, it's a different kind of story. That I is totally a get it. Story. Especially yeah. in the heat yeah, of make, the moment. Make that. the person yeah. doing all the talking fit to the storyline that's nearly yeah. pre recorded for her to work off of. That's not, that's not, exa- that's not exactly fair. You know what? Yeah, that makes sense. What a yeah. stupid question of mine because that doesn't make sense that I even asked you that, to be honest with you. Because well, of the type like, of movie it is. It's a good question. Well, but, she's say, but she's he, sharing, right. you know, she's not sharing the screen with someone else to play off. True. Very often. Yeah. And, you know, it's got to be organized. It's got to be legit. So, yeah, good yeah. point. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get I it. I mean, that one bit where I won't give it away, but like where I do have a scene partner for those yeah. glorious two days of filming, um, <laughs> then we were, it Wait, was what? really like, rehearsal and playful like yeah yeah at the, <laughs> yeah, the, at the end remember that yes, yeah, the, the, there's a there's yeah. a character that, yeah yeah um, <laughs> yeah don't, <laughs> don't worry so, like, no. no we got to be really playful like um really that just make part. it ours mm-hmm. and like yeah. try things and and you know he was coming in fresh alexander and um so it was really fun. And That's I was just like cool. so excited to have like eye contact. <laughs> like, you're <laughs> a human and like by touch myself. Like... <laughs> yeah. I like um, how she dug in. Yeah. He, he was coming in fresh. I've been working for like eight days by myself. Right. <laughs> yeah. we, we were literally like, hi. <laughs> Trailer, come on. <laughs> you're all excited. You're an actor. Oh, what are we lying? Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I get to play off somebody. This is great. <laughs> like this is amazing. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, I would I I will say like it wasn't a bad question because even with all the like crazy restrictions, mm-hmm. somehow I really did feel like like Rick gave me that. Okay. Like I could almost get an actor's take to the degree that you know was that yeah, good. Yeah, like oh, he was good. really good at like really good about that. Wow. You can okay. you can yeah, see awesome. that. I mean, you yeah. can tell there's. There's got to be some of that in there because yeah, yeah, definitely. But you are so like it's on another level. Uh, we I are think. so like yeah. enamored by uh, we can't even. We're believe, super fans like, of all yours. the freaking <laughs> languages <laughs> and just oh the languages I forgot and the takes the long takes and you're just so good. Solid. We were like shitting. Solid as fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shitting. Canceling on us. Killing us. No, Coco. I mean seriously. I was in that's... Mexico. I know, and we're like. How we're many talking. languages do you speak yourself? Um, I speak. A little bit of, I speak a lot of Spanish, I speak a little French, I speak a little Swedish. Okay. And English. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So, so but. you're not, so it's not like a crazy, so you didn't have all that, like, you don't have these crazy, like, you could speak like 20 languages type thing going no. on. Like, no, and so at the you time, just like, learned, you Spanish. just learned the stuff in the languages beforehand. Is that kind of how you played the, it? Or? Yeah, like most of that stuff. Like that long conversation in Spanish, not long, but it's like a page mm-hmm. where I'm on the phone talking to, obviously I'm on the phone the whole time, um, talking to this woman and telling her like, you telling her directions of what to do was all new words. Like I, I speak Spanish from traveling around and I basically like, I was traveling and working a little bit in South America years ago, like 10 years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. And like taught myself Spanish. <clears throat> and then since then, like now my Spanish is, is really good. But at the time when we shot, it really, it was like, I never speak it. Like I never practiced. Um, and so I was like super stressed out that day because I wasn't prepared. We weren't supposed to film it that day. Um, <laughs> Rick, I think did this on purpose. Actually, I know yeah, he did this on purpose. Up. He like, it was like a 22 page day or 20 page day. Oh, and it wasn't supposed That's, to be. Oh my gosh. Oh my what would I do, Aaron? No, I'd I, be in bed. I'd like, be in bed with you on that one. I I, like, drunk. It, oh, I'm passed oh out. my God. <laughs> I like don't crazy. get tired on set. I have a wow. lot of energy as a human and clearly, especially when I'm on set. Clearly. Yeah, I really like it takes a lot, a lot to tire me out. And I was awesome. so exhausted. It was, it was like a big day, like a lot of emotional day. And I can't mm-hmm. remember what we shot, but it was a lot of stuff. And then he's like, Coco. I'm like in my trailer, just like getting it together. And he was like, bless you. He's like, you're going to kill me, but I think I want to do that Spanish scene like right now. And I was like, no, 
<laughs> I'm not ready. Yeah. You're no. like, no. no. <laughs> I don't even know it. Like, it's that's not for days. And I was like, wait, what are you talking about? I'm like, I can't. It was so ridiculous. <laughs> and he like made me do it. His wife was fabulous. Nikki speaks Spanish. So she helped me a little. And uh, just quickly, we like did it a couple times and then that's shot crazy. it. But wow. I think it was kind of like a strategic because of the state of the state that Maddie, the character is in at that moment okay. is like, this is like the last resort. Like I'm, everything's gone horrifically. I'm a mess. Like she's the, freaking out. And then has this one phone call. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. I was like, so, if that was on it purpose, worked out. I was so mad. <laughs> No, I don't believe it. It's like Rick, or Hold should I call you Mr. The, Dick? You know? awesome. Yeah, it was literally like, I, I was like, should I just like really fuck it up so we have to do it again? Do it again in a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, I sort of thought, like I left thinking like he's going to refilm that. That was horrible. <laughs> so oh yeah, that's God. a little tough to watch because now like my Spanish is much, 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 much better. And I'm like, Even oh, that's I, impressive I, I to me. Thought, like I'm still, never. I'm so impressed yeah. even yeah, I can't. Yeah, the performance, you. the performance is <laughs> outstanding. I mean, how do you yeah. feel about it now that you go back and have, have you watched it since you've made it? Um, yeah, I watched it once. Okay. Um, and I, I liked, I really liked it. I normally like that's never come out of my mouth before. <laughs> normally, I have to like, I have to have a glass of wine in my hand and like kind of watch my movies like this. Like, I really don't like it mm-hmm. watching them. Um, but this one, and now I've trained myself. Now I can just remember the experience and like, I'm not picking myself apart in my performance, blah, blah. Um, so this one, I was really nervous. Cause I was like, I don't have anything else to look at except my performance. <laughs> Cause literally the whole movie <laughs> yeah. is yeah. me. So. Like, I was like, oh my God. And it just scared, you know, I think I watched it with um, my mom maybe and okay. her husband, I think. Uh, and so then you're like watching their reaction, like, you know. That's fun. That's I've, fun. I love if that. If someone like picks up their phone mm, and answers that. a text, like you can't help it but be like a little bit like, oh, really? Like, this, I worked so hard. I know. Um, yeah. And we all I've never so felt, literally on your phone right now. I've never felt that <laughs> yeah. way. Every, every time I've acted. Yeah. Uh-huh. I've never yeah. felt that way. I so I, it always makes me, it baffles me that like because Sam feels that way. I know Chuck started saying that too. You hate watching yourself. I don't like. I don't. It. I, I don't like watching myself. I no, fucking I love it. watching myself. I think it's so fun. Okay, so Aaron. <laughs> so, so for fun. those of you who don't know, Aaron, love Aaron it. loves himself so no, very it's much. Just kind of so fun. very much. I don't even I that. think that. <laughs> it's just kind of cool. I'm like, it, I can watch my performance and be like, oh, I could do that better. He's like, oh, oh this I'm is better. No you guys, watch, watch. I'm badass right here. Watch this. No joke. You know, right. that's how I feel. And I'm like super excited to see what people think. And if someone says, yeah, you could have done better, I'm like, well, fuck you. Okay. But I'm good. Right. You know, I don't have that. Uh, I don't know what I it is. I don't day. think it's. Obviously, you guys aren't insecure or anything. It's not that. It's just. It's not insecure. What is it's it? Just like, it's humbleness. It's just being yeah. like, you're like, I'm a real person and I. I'm humble. But I'm you just, know you're acting and you're not you in that scene. So okay. it makes me not understand because of that. <laughs> I mean, we don't understand. This is you, obviously Aaron. not Coco. <laughs> you're you're a bank robbing have... badass bitch in that movie. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Yeah. No, so, that, I think that's why yeah. this one I liked. Maybe. I don't know. There you go. Just I, being okay someone else, uh, acting wise, being someone else is always fun. That's always fun. Yeah. That's what I mean. Acting. That's what I like That's to see. That's the fun part of acting. Yeah, it's fun. Right. You know? And but... even if you could do better, you see it <laughs> you're and you're like, oh, yeah, I can do better. It's fine. I can like, keep oh, working at God. it. But I think it's right. great. Aaron you know? acts like he doesn't have any insecurities, but I do. It's, that's what I mean. <laughs> it's not about being insecure or anything. It's just about, you know, I mean, being having humility is one thing, but actually looking at your work and going, yeah, it's not too bad. I don't think that's a mm-hmm. bad. I don't think that's a bad thing. No, it's not a bad it's, thing. I think yeah, it's a good especially thing. when you got a, so many people probably coming to you and telling you how great you did. Like, do you think they're all liars? No, they're not. No, they love what you did. Not so, anymore. Except, except we're not. We're not all related but, to you. Yeah, except that. Shit. Yeah, it's exactly. Cool. I know. Yeah. I mean, no. It, my family is uh, probably my worst critic. Everyone, <laughs> everyone, everyone that put all this in my head. Yeah. That is yeah. so common, though. Like, we deal with that same no. thing. Yeah, you don't family, understand. Like, family doesn't really get your back. 
You know what? Them. We go to all our kids' track meets when they're <laughs> doing yeah, their we track, got their back. you know? But later on in life, like, I hope we are not those people right. that just don't get our kids back with what they do because That's bullshit. our families don't get our back at all. No, I'm not going <laughs> like to They don't watch shit. They don't oh, care. Weird. Yeah. They don't care. It is weird. Or they'll say it's they like, want to watch it and then, like, they don't. Or then I'll yeah. get a, a, a page of notes. I'm like, I didn't ask for that. I know, right? Um, like, what the thank you. Like, yeah. the movie's out, you know, <laughs> the world is watching it. Yeah. I know. Did you so, watch the movie? Too late yeah. now. Yeah. Did you like it? You're it's like, her, late my sister short. once told me, she's like, you do like something weird with your lips when oh, you're acting. And I was like, oh, okay, number one, 100% no, I don't because I've been acting <laughs> for 15 years. Like, I am so comfortable. Like, I know that I don't. It's just like probably the way they look on camera. It's like, you haven't seen that. Yeah, you should but bring up something like, she's done in the past. Yeah, I just bring up something she done in the past that you know embarrasses the shit out. That's what I would do. <laughs> I, I would do it in a heartbeat. I just was like, I yeah, remember that birthday party when you time. farted and, and Bobby heard it? <laughs> Remember that shit? How you like that? Remember That's that? What I'd say. Think about that. My mom day. cannot watch stuff that I'm in. If I act in something, my mom cannot watch it. She cannot handle it. She is like, Why? it is the weirdest thing. She says it's the weirdest thing ever. She watched the movie that I made that I directed, mm -hmm. the GPO movie. She watched she that, that. And she actually sat there and watched the whole thing, which is amazing for that my is mom. Amazing. But when she cannot sit there and watch me act, she freaks out. She's like, oh my God, it's you. It's weird. It's, I can't. <laughs> it's so I can't. It's all crazy well, about Sam it. said, yeah, Samantha said the same thing to me because in the last film I was doing for, for the horror verse, I, oh, I got yeah. dreads He's and stuff. He's got a wig and shit. I got dreads <laughs> and stuff and I'm like with a patch. I just like, want to make fun of him, And honestly. she's like, it's like, so weird looking like, you and dreads. Like, I'm like, <laughs> that's not me. That's fucking bullseye. That's not me. <laughs> but it's it's nothing like you <laughs> it's not supposed yeah, to be it's weird but she's the one who knows thing. for sure whether or not you're in the dreads dancing around in the bedroom i don't know oh, she's, she's the only one who knows that. that no i just do that in the bathroom alone and then i try to do the tuck like in science of the lambs and put the lips up on. oh my god play the song you know what i'm saying can i opt out of like <laughs> being a, Would you fuck associated me? with you right now i'd fuck i'd fuck <laughs> you so hard i don't live with this guy i swear i don't live with this guy <laughs> i just watched science of the lambs i'm sorry i still love that movie it's fucking great no one no one oh, no. good stuff i've never seen that movie what? Yeah, you gotta watch that. I'm like yeah. too scared. I'm such no, a it's, baby. It's a great movie. It's great. It's it is. Great. It it's is great. a good it's classic. movie. Yeah. yeah. It's You'd appreciate it for acting alone. Jodie Foster character. is ridiculous. Yeah, she's fucking I know. great in that movie. She's so. I good. know. I always so when I think of a one actor movie that I love so much that where an actor can carry a movie, it's always like huge actors like the Jake Gyllen. I don't know. Oh, Jake Gyllenhaal and I don't know how you say his last name. Yeah, Gyllenhaal. The, yeah. The one so he, he just carried did, the one. The phone call one. Yes. He was on uh, the when police. He was the, um, Fuck, what's the title? Yeah, of he that? was the cop, oh, and he yeah. he had to do the nine one one operator. Guilty. I think because it's called he the got guilty. In trouble guilty. Or yeah. Whatever. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's carried a great fucking movie. Every time I think of a movie where an actor carries it. It's always like this huge, like yeah. Hollywood actor, and you fit right in there. Yeah, you, you do. did just as good as any of them. You absolutely did. So that's it's how. So that's why I'm you. so like fangirling on you because you are so good. Yeah, that is I so agree. good. And that you're is talking to movie thing. nerds here. Yeah. You know, when we say fucking wow, Coco, we mean, we mean fucking, fucking wow. 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 <laughs> from 60s through now, we've seen a shit ton of movies. My catalog yeah. of movies that I own is over 2,000. <laughs> so forget everything else. The fact that when we say you carried a whole fucking movie you properly, professionally, properly. and everything else, Coco. Wow. Thanks, yeah, yeah, wow. I'm literally like, start literally start never in no, my mind cry. did I you one time it. think it. that I wasn't watching. Like, I mean, Rick Ives, obviously, he's a good director and he made a great movie, but you carried that movie. Like, you literally carried that movie. And it yeah. was so amazing. Like, it was right up there with every other one that any actor, Hollywood actor, has carried. Yeah. So, you should be getting paid the big bucks. So, you need to be <laughs> like, I am queen and I need the big bucks. <laughs> Yeah, I know that Rick it's is probably coming. Like, I hope <laughs> it, it is coming for you because you can do it. Yeah, if anyone can do it, you can do it. Yeah, you, you've got this. Here's my demo it's reel. Very it's obvious. <laughs> I know. <laughs> honestly, put it in my reel yet? Yeah, because I'm like, what am I gonna put in? <laughs> so I literally impressive. just went and send out the movie here. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, I can only, do that. I can only imagine Here's like my whole thing. <laughs> Rick sitting down at his editing suite when he started to cut this thing and seeing Shitting all that his stuff. Pants. Yeah, because I know Just I would. Going wild. Because on set, when, on set when you know you got it, you got it. Yeah. You're like excited, but I think Rick is like me, where he's more of the let's let's piece it all together and see what we got mm -hmm. because it's fun when mm -hmm. you sit down to make it in post. And I always get excited when I know I got the shot. Yeah, but when I go and sit down and I start cutting it, I really am paying attention to every little detail as best I can. And I mm -hmm. see the performance for what it really, really was. I get even more excited. I'm like, fuck. So I sh I'm, I'm fucking sure. And Rick would say, I, if he doesn't, he's a dick. <laughs> but I'm sure he would say that he was fucking so just lucky to get you yeah, to do that honestly. part. And I, I just, because I know him cutting that was just like, Fuck, she killed this. Every she time he cut, she it. killed it. Oh my God, she fucking killed it. I'm, I'm sure he's calling his wife. Come here, check this scene out. Look at him. Look how yeah, badass yeah. she is. Yeah. You know? That's what I Aaron know. Would do. I would do it in a heartbeat. I'm like, check her out, dude. Yeah. It, it's it's that good. You did great. Yeah, you, you really, really, really did. Really did. Um, and he does that, that with really actors in our just our little pieces that we are doing oh, right yeah. now. He's yeah. like, because Jasmine, I'm enamored by look. It. Look at Jasmine right now. And yeah, he look at her me face. Over. Look how bad look at her. Is. Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. Like, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, you no, had an hour good. and a half of and, that in, yeah. in your film. Literally, the whole movie. It's crazy. Yeah. It's fun. It's, it's fun crazy. to see. Yeah, yeah. And when you're directing it, directing it, sorry, when you're directing it and you're watching the people act, like if you're if you're watching the, you know, you're watching to make sure you get the the shot just the way you wanted it, that's one thing. Or when you're watching the performance, that's another thing. But like Aaron says, when you're sitting down at the editing suite and then you realize what else you got in there that yeah. wasn't paid attention in that frame yeah. and it wasn't paid attention here and the, just the delivery or the nuance of the voice, mm -hmm. yeah, it's that's the exciting yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's like I didn't even realize we got that much more. Right. That's right. What I'm yeah. yeah. Rick and you right. deliver yeah. that much more in your performance. Mm -hmm. Girl, you are a diamond in the rough, I would say. You are. Yeah, I'd say rough. bitch is sparkling, but okay. <laughs> well, I mean, no, that's what I actually mean, but she needs to like be like, I'm worth a lot of money right now. I know what you're saying. I know. Yeah. No, that's Turn what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I am surprised that you're not in some more bigger things and you're not bigger than you are because you're bigger than you are. Yeah. I mean, bigger, yep. bigger, bigger. Just anyone who can carry Where a movie like that is amazing. Yeah. To me. Like, literally. Yeah, amazing. that was like, I mean, I'm so lucky that I fall asleep. Too. Don't get fall that asleep. opportunity either. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah. it was like the boot camp, like. Right. It would have been so oh, not. Which is crazy. Yeah. So when you were yeah, shooting, yeah. when you were shooting Solid Rock Trust, you, you, you mentioned that the beginning, that, that first opening scene was the toughest one, you know, for you. Um, the, the Spanish scene. Okay, that was another one. What was oh, the, what was the one scene that sits with you that you were like excited about? That's your favorite part of it that you were you oh, accomplished. Good question. What's, what, what, what's the best part that you were like, dude? I know I nailed that shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know about what I felt like I fucking nailed, but <laughs> the parts I know, I was so sad when they were over. Okay. Like when they'd be like, okay, moving on. Um, I remember it was a lot of the voices stuff because I a just worked really hard on that. Like, I take dialects really seriously. To me, they're like so imper they're so bad. I'm like, oh my god, I'm like slipping into Australian. I'm not supposed to be Australian. You know, yeah. a British guy interviewed me recently, and he was like, "So, how come you didn't do British?" I was like, "I did." <laughs> 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 I did. But, like, like, oh, oh did. no! <laughs> and, and or he said something like that. He was like, oh, "You did a little British and a little Aussie or something." And I was like, "Actually, it was supposed to just be British." But whoops. Um, <laughs> no, but... I like li I'm always around Australians, so it like slips in. Like I can't not do it. Okay. Um, oh, okay. But I get it. anyway, those parts I remember. Like when I because I added in a few. I was like, "Rick, you have like repeats here of accents. Like why?" And he was like, "Oh, it's just like there's already a bunch." do you want to do more? And I was like, yes, I'm not going to do repeats. Come on. Right, like, let's yeah. do like five or six. Like, let's really get in there. So that I loved so much. Like okay. those parts. And when I got to make the, um, the like Eastern European one mm -hmm. was really fun. And then the New Yorker one was really fun. Those were like ones I just was like, can I try it like this? Um, I love those parts. I really liked, I don't know. I loved a lot of it. I liked the parts um, with the other actor. All right. It was just fun and like, 
you know, intense and like, I don't know. I loved a lot of it. Okay, just like putting good. your, just the more I felt connected to her and like made this character a little bit further away from like who I am, mm -hmm. those parts that were really the fun. The most fun, right? Badass. Right. When you, yeah. the, when you play it. a part that is it. so far from what you are as a person, yeah, that's the most fun to me. Yeah. And my best, my favorite script that Aaron wrote, my favorite part I ever played was. Oh yeah, the Wait, con. Everything, everything was far away from me. Yeah, it was everything. I wore like five different wigs and turned into five different people, oh, cool. and it was so yeah. fun. I loved yeah. every it's so minute fun. of it. So yeah, that yeah. is fun. Being like all these different people because you get to play, and you get to, yeah, mm -hmm. you're a kid, you get to play. That's the one time yeah. I loved acting. Yeah. The one time. Yep. That was my favorite. Yeah. It's I haven't gotten to do it. I feel like in college, that's like all anybody wants to do. You want to play these like dark characters and yeah. Everything. You know, it's all yeah. theater and it's like really, I mean, I went through a phase in college. Honestly, it was probably five years. And I had cut my hair short, regretted it. And then I filmed a movie that like we kept, my first feature ever. Um, and we kept doing reshoots. And I was, I was like the protagonist in this like B horror movie. Cool. Very awesome. fun, bizarre experience, but like great. Yeah. And I cut my hair, anyway, so I had to keep my hair short for like ever. And for some reason, I looked like a little, like, like a little kid with this haircut. <laughs> but I was booking, literally, if I saw a casting for like a dark film about like a hooker on the streets who has like a bunch of kids and she's dying. I mean, really dark shit. I knew I would book it a hundred percent. And I awesome. did. I played this because in theater. I played this in film. I don't know. I mean, my she headshot, I wish I had a copy of it. It's, I definitely don't, but it was like, just cute, like cute, with my little hair. And that was booking these like really, Horrible really characters. rough roles. Right. But I think I was just needing to like explore, like completely not me, Yeah. like not who I am. Right. And then I started like years, actually from moving here, really, I started to play more, um, like I often usually book like protagonist roles which i love um but a lot of the time you know you're if it's a comedy you're kind of like the straight character mm -hmm. if it's like a horror it's kind of like things are happening to you and it's always pretty like you know i make these characters i give them something to be different and something I feel like you special, have a good like, scream do you have a yeah. good scream I do like have a good scream. I, I, I doubt it every I, time, I but I do. Face. It always yeah, comes you out. have a good scream. I know it. I can see it in your face. You have a good scream. Totally. <laughs> so I discovered it on that first movie. Like, he we, he was like, oh, by the way, can you scream? I was like, I think so. I'm like, why wouldn't I be able to scream? And he told me a lot of people can't. A lot of people don't have a good scream. A lot of people can't. I can't yeah. fucking scream. A lot of people no? can't. I can't. No. Oh, I no. can scream. I can totally tell you can got a good scream, yeah. It you can so too, can you? Yeah, yeah, yes, I can. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, yeah. Sam can scream. I'll, I can I'll scream. tell you. She can scream in sentences. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh -huh. I mean, Hell yeah. I got a good scream too. I mean, it's they a good thing you know how to do. They don't call her fuck for a reason, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But you Coco, scream. you keep talking about all these. <laughs> <laughs> Coco, you keep talking about all these different characters that aren't who you really are. So, who is the real you? Yeah. Well, how much Good of the real question. you do you want to share with us today to say, you know, what, what's your background and what yeah. you came up to to make you decide to become an actress? Oh, good question. Yeah, <laughs> um, let's, let's hear the real you. I think, it's a beautiful segment. I mean, all my characters have, obviously it's me, but it just, I always think of them as like, you're taking dials of like, you know, and turning some things up, turning some things down. Like, yeah. if someone's yeah. like, I just played a character, another one woman, one one actor, one location. Oh, good with voices, God. actually. Weird. Wow. He saw a solid rock trust in casting. Oh, okay, that. yeah. Um, I just, just got home from that. But... Uh, was that as fun to do? It was really fun. We shot in six days. Oh, wow. my God. A feature. Boom. Wow. I told um, you it could be done, Sam. Dude, I, I don't do no, it. No, <laughs> I still don't believe it. I know. We've got, we've got a documentary coming up that we're going to try to shoot in five days. Five and I days, said we could probably yeah. do it. And she was like, I don't think we can. I don't think we're not going to. It's like, not yeah, enough it's time. Fun. It's fun. not enough time. It was. It's I mean, crazy. if I had had maybe another actor to work with. This, we didn't have recordings. I had just um, oh, someone. It changed who it was. 
reading the lines for me, but like oh. re reading the lines like, oh, but that's how, why you broke up with me. And just I'm like, crying and I have oh to react like it's so heavy. You didn't this even have someone was... put something into it? Like, <laughs> no, nothing? Yeah. You're just no. reading it? Oh my God. It was See, like. That's why you're amazing. It <laughs> was I could not do so that hard. Yeah, that would be it was, super hard. I mean, once I chilled out and like, was like, all right, you know what? It's not that deep. Just do, <laughs> just do it. Like, that's just Aaron's react. Line. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. It's not. Like, okay. I was getting all like, like upset and I was really like the character was getting in and she's so upset and she's crazy and I was getting like really sensitive and I'd and I was so like drunk. you know what <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't so I mean with I had to learn like 20 plus pages of dialogue every night so I'm oh up in the morning God. three hours before set working get home from 12 hours work, work on the next day and dedication so they would change like they changed a few things around on day three and I was like what are you doing? Oh, I almost right lost now. it. Like I almost just yeah. said no. And I was like, again, it's not that deep. Yeah. Go look at your script. Somebody will read it with you for 10 minutes and you're fine. Like, yeah. chill the fuck out. Honestly though, cause but, you pull shit off. Like I can't even. You know, that's, I, we'll I like this. this. <laughs> I like, I like that though. And that's why I say that it's not that deep because yeah. it isn't that deep. You know, and I get, and I respect it's actors that do go that deep or any other filmmakers yeah. out there or artists in general. I, I always think that that's fine. But if it starts affecting who you are, yeah, like, and you're emotionally mm -hmm. getting, and how you like, feel. sick, yeah. you know, it's not that deep. Right. No. I mean, right. you can't forget why you started this in the first place. It's it's no different right. when you were a kid mm -hmm. playing make-believe. I mean, that's all it mm -hmm. really is. You've got to yeah. have this separation, this line between that, that fiction and reality. You do. Well, and yeah. some people, well, you some have people have don't it. have it. And well, they, they get, don't. They get too crazy. And it makes them great, right? In their performances. But you so, see yeah, some sometimes. actors that sometimes. get go too far. Yeah. And, they, and they do end up not coming back. But it's honestly, like, the fuck. best actors, the best actors are what? The ones that really just go and just I, do I, it. I, I would say yes. <laughs> just, you go but, and do it. Go deep. Like, go I go deep. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'll get in there. Yeah. But... It doesn't need to. Do you have to get into character? It like, do you need, to need go an that hour far. before to get into character? Some yeah, people sometimes do. Sometimes you do. Like, I think yeah. some, there's some roles where I'm like, hey guys, now I've learned to be like, I need, you know, like, I had a whole day. We shot a 14 page scene. Every day was a six page scene, 12 page scene. This is a 14 crazy. scene on the phone with my ex. And it's really rough. He's like, I think he's dying. It's gnarly. I would get into bed to have this phone call. Like, she's, this character was really interesting. I've never played one like her, but anyway, and, and there's crying, tons of crying on cue in this conversation. Not like if, I mean, it was it was a lot. Mm -hmm. We shot it for a whole day. We shot that shit for 12 hours. Wow. And of course, you know, it was like very intense. Yeah. And I was like, I just told them like, you guys just be playful, be fun. I won't be super playful today, that's it. Like, don't try to cheer me up, <laughs> you know? I'm okay, yeah. I'm okay. Like, mm -hmm. Coco's fine. Home but you had to get to where it. you could cry. Yeah, this, this one was going. Yeah. Like you had to get to where you could cry, so you had yeah. to stay. And like, yeah, it worked and it was great. Like, yeah. But even that day, like during lunch, I was like, okay, I'll play a little bit, and like had some fun, right. and then got back into my shit. See, and then that, at the end, the fact that you can even do fun. that is amazing. To it's me. dope. That but I think is like, I was really happy that I was able to, because even like on Solid Rock Trust, I remember Rick being like, "What do you need?" on these emotional days yeah. and I was like I'm not even sure like it's different every time right. okay and basically I don't know I think it's like when I say like it's not that deep I mean like like when someone if I was getting like angry between takes because people were t like taking actually they were so sweet at the set they're being really polite mm -hmm. they're all from Missouri they're all from like the Midwest so they're being so fucking polite that everything was taking forever like way too would you mind please if it's not a problem doing this 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 with the lights and i was like just ask for what you need like please i'm sitting here with tears in my eyes like please you hurry up and that's when i had to tell myself like dude chill out it's not yeah. that serious like well yeah when you're ready to go you know? though when you're when you're ready for that kind of a part that's a hard part honestly to get ready for so if you're ready for that part and they're just fucking around you're just <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm irritated. You blue light over there, fucking spotlight I'm over here. Listening Let's get the fuck out. Yeah, it's terrible. it was like, yeah, and you know, obviously, like Video Village can see it on your face. They're watching, 
Yeah. So like my little friend on set texted me once and was like, "Hey, girly pop, you want to go for a walk after this?" Like, girly and I was like, "Oh shit, Tiva. it's showing." She's like twenty three, <laughs> so cute. And I realized like, oh my god, my, you know, the facade is off. Like, People can, you can tell see everything. Yeah. And so then, then I was like, "All right, chill out." And then from then on, I had like the best time. Like no matter where character was at, no matter how long things were taking, whatever, I was like, it's just I am an like a kind person i'm very inclusive so i was like stop being like impatient it's crazy obvious. like yeah we're making it's a obvious. movie you know this is great and like it's fun i get to it be on fun. set and yes. i'm the star right. like this is awesome <laughs> it is so, you know yeah. yeah coming coming from us here that have watched you in solid rock trust and i'd love to watch anything else you've done uh, yeah, yeah anything. just and and us being filmmakers <laughs> too and, and we've been doing this for over 20 years too it's like you have the skill set. You do. You, you have the naturally, skills. Naturally, you are you are a pro. Yeah. You are a pro. Yeah. So Thanks. when you when you're getting and people forget though this this is the thing like like when Rick asked you like what do you need from me you know and it, and you said it changes from day to day. you know why because you have a home life you're a person still so one day right. you might be feeling like happy yeah. and you woke up in a great mood <laughs> one day you might wake up a piece of shit and the dishes are dirty and. Fucking totally. socks are everywhere, and the dog shit in the fucking house. <laughs> you, you know, and that changes your totally. mood. Yeah, it does. So I mean, mm -hmm. that's that's all it is. But your skill set doesn't change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your gifts yeah. don't change. Right. They're yeah. still there. It's your job to just tap into them when need be. Right. And that's right. how and I kind of try that. to do it. Yeah. And trust, trust that. that. Trust that yeah. process, yeah. and you'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah. we we fuck ourselves up, right? Honestly, In our own head. That's we all we do. do. Like it's that's like been it a is. rough totally. day, and we're just like, I'm out of my mind because it's been a hard day. Yeah, that's and all it is. It, literally. And it's not that deep. It's that's all not, I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think yeah, that's what you're it's saying not. too. I know. Break right? it down. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Like I was fucking. I needed five minutes before the show because all hell broke. I know. Trying to get here. I And then I just yeah, I was like, I need five minutes because. Right. Ugh, it's just not that Well, he, yeah. broke, he and broke, like, broke an SD card in half. So yeah, and that scares the shit out of me because like I, know, I don't know what's like, on it. And that's I, like we losing, might need something. Yeah. Yeah, there could have been Oh, I thought you meant like you did it in a fit of rage. <laughs> no, oh, no. no. He was plugging stuff in, trying to get his computer on. And no, I brought the computer over. Yeah, I brought my computer to the studio because Chuck's not here today. And um, I forgot to take the SD card out of the back of the Mac. So when oh. I boxed it up, it cracked. And I know that there's dialogue on there from one of our films. I know there's podcasts on there that we've recorded. I mean, who even and knows? I don't what know. Else we there. may have yeah. lost. And I said we're not going to bring that up, and here I do bring it up. But, yeah, bro. Yeah. But no, it's just but, it's look. just the point of like. But the talking shit to happens. Coco, and and we all work through it. And that yeah. was what 40, 48 minutes ago. Yeah. I was tripping. I'm and I was fine like, now. let's yeah. just not it's think it's over. It's over. like it's all good. Yeah. It's over. Because hopefully, honestly, hopefully everything it's a micro SD. It's just the holder that broke. Yeah. No, we'll um, and, and it was, it's way. not. We're not that lucky. But Sam's gonna fix it because I fix all things. And either way, worst case scenario <laughs> is oh, if, if if there was a previous podcast on there, we'll get them back on. We'll figure it. We'll out. We'll get them back on and mm -hmm. do it again, we'll it and we'll have a better like... conversation. That's all it is. But mm -hmm. yeah, the point is what? It's not that. Bad. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. <laughs> it's not that deep. <laughs> that was your question: Was who are you as a person? Yeah. Yeah. And I guess that was Who's no, the real actually, you did a great job of <laughs> actually. Not that deep. Yeah, I'm so ADD. The only, I was like, the only thing I wonder, like, do you have kids? Sorry. Do you have any kids? Are you <clears throat> no. no kids? No. Do you want kids? I have two Jesus, nephews. I don't know. I know. I'm getting deep. Um, deep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. I'm yeah, curious. What, might, no what kind of men do you like to have sex with? Uh, stop it. I'm not asking <laughs> that. Okay, that's your question. Oh, uh, yeah, you that'd be a great question. That, that is a great question. <laughs> No, it's I don't even know where to ask that question anymore. Okay, guys. Really? Yeah, I know. Hey, guys, We'd step all off. get canceled. Oh, step off, guys. Sorry, I'm actually right. asking her a all right, question. I'll stop. Guys. I'll stop. It's not that deep, Sam. Let's yeah, go. get over <laughs> Okay. Anyway, do you have any kids? So, no, you don't have kids. Do you want kids? No. I'm not sure. I'm like. You don't know yet. Okay. That's I don't cool. know. All right. Uh, you know. Like I'm different every day. <laughs> I feel like that like is right getting now, to know no someone way. really, live... really good. Yeah. <laughs> like we know you really well now. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and I'm, you know, all over the place. I'm never yeah. in town. Well, being an actor is like, a tough thing to like incorporate having a family kind of situation with. Especially I mean, working. Honestly, actor. yeah. You got to yeah. You got to go. You got to go. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, I a dog. He's currently sick in my room right now. Um, he's like cute little baby adorable he's nine he's not a baby but he's 
Um, and bit. even that is hard. Like, yeah. I, I mean, this poor life. guy is constantly, yeah. And I bring him, thank God I have this amazing friend, Sophia, who always takes him. But it's not funny. he's Sophia's with her more than he's with me. taking my dog today. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm Chuck's the daughter, angels. Sophia. Yeah, Sophia's <laughs> our angels. <laughs> angels. Um, yeah, so that's hard enough. And I'm just like, I don't know, like... I can't. It would be like 10 uh, times Just that. literally all over the place. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, so so you don't know. You don't know yet. That's fine. Yeah. I, I would, mean, that's. I would say don't have kids. Here. I would say. Just make your fucking I would say right. just be you and do what you want. My movies are my want. kids. <laughs> Exactly. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've been writing and stuff and producing. And oh, you amazing. have? Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, no, we don't have enough time to get into this because we almost have to let you go just almost already, which sucks. But what? Oh, you write and everything, too? Um. Yes. I I still feel like... What I can you not do? A can, writer. Is there a, can you not? We should just ask that. Cause well, I wanted to hear her answer day. to the last question. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I literally want to know what can you not do? Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, have a day job. <laughs> have a day job. Um, there you go. I can't sit still very long. I definitely have ADD. Um, but no, I've been, so I started writing a couple years ago with my best friend, the girl who's coming here to do these auditions with me. Um, she's a writer. So she's like a writer who can act and I'm an actor who can write. So I don't claim to be a writer, but I'm like, that's all about that. Like I've written some stuff and I'm like, this is funny. Like <laughs> I should won awards. I'm like, I'm like, this is good. That's cool. So, um, yeah, which is, I love it because I don't, I'm not, I'm not attached to it. I'm like, you know, my acting I've worked, like I, I work so hard and like, it means so much to me. It's my passion. It's my love. Like, so if someone's like gives me criticism about my acting, it's it's pretty deep. <laughs> but with the writing, I'm like, oh, I don't give a shit. I have no training. You know, like this is just my training is reading a billion scripts constantly. I keep holding this up in my script <laughs> and like doing movies and stuff. So I've learned a lot. You know, like I've, I think I can identify a good script now. Anyway, blah blah. So we wrote this series um, that's so funny. I'm obsessed with it. It's like, have you guys seen Broad City? I haven't. Or heard of it? No, I haven't. It's really funny. I would, it's off, it's not like current anymore, but I think they had like six seasons, maybe seven seasons. Okay. Um, it's like a, well, anyway, our show is called Classy and Other Lies. And it's like a stoner comedy, female driven stoner comedy. Um, and it's basically just like all the funny shit, like Venice, Venice. Los Angeles is like that's where I live. Is basically like a character because it's this obscene place. Um, anyway, so that's really fun. And then I was writing. I've written some shorts, and I I have a feature that I'm like 99% done with. But I hate this last bit. Maybe 90% done, and this last 10% sucks. Um, but yeah, I've produced a little bit. Like I made a short, like a kind of a pilot for the series, so we could cut a trailer from it. And ended up like producing. I ended up directing just by default, which I did not want to do, um, and acting in it and stuff. So it was. I learned a lot um, from what y'all do <laughs> on the other side of the camera, and it's hard. <laughs> it's not very fun, but yeah, that's right. my other going on. But the feature will be good. It sounds like it. What's the title of the feature? Yeah. Dusty Rose. It's like a kind of like Fargo meets Pineapple Express. Oh, badass. Like a oh, dark <laughs> comedy, but it's like these two strippers that like get in over their heads. Awesome. Um, and they're just kind of like, you know, from like New Mexico, like uh, small crime girls. Okay. And they get in over their heads and they end up breaking up like a human trafficking ring, but like by accident. <laughs> Badass. It's a long, yeah. So I'm working on that. Very fun. Very fun. What, yeah. Before before we get to the end here, I know we only had about an hour with you. Um, what is um, what was the inspiration for that one? Like, what got you going to to even jump on and start writing and helping out? Um, I can't remember. I started writing it with 
my best friend Allie, who's the writer, the co-writer in Classy. Okay. Um, and then she was like overwhelmed with just like a life and was like, I need to take a break. Like I move fast and I realized I I was like, wow, I haven't given you any time to like do you. <laughs> like I, you know, she's like never, she never really acted before. And I was like, cool, that's, that's okay. You're the lead and I need you to do this and this and this and I need to direct and I need you to build up. So anyway, she took a break and I was like, well, I kind of swore to myself I would finish this by the state. So where did the idea come from though? I have no idea. I can't remember. Um, I know I just, I really wanted to write a dark comedy. Okay. Um, and then we were just writing something that we'd want to play basically and something different. I don't know. Okay. No, that's fun. No, that's great. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Cause I, I don't know. Yeah, we'll something, you just, something inside us sometimes just pulls this stuff out. That's yeah. That's there. And it's been, I know there. it just like appears. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Wow. Sam? Wow. Coco. Yeah. We knew she'd be badass. Wow. So. Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. we going to fight over she her? She'd be badass. Both left, I so. told you when I was watching, I was like, you know, not only can she act, she's hot. She's badass. So, yeah. Yeah, we can fight over her. That's what that means. Badass. Because, yeah. like, yeah. new crush. Yeah. Yeah. Going on. yeah, new crush. Oh, yeah. Speaking of crushes, I got a crush today, too, at, at Fred Meyer when I went How there this morning. How many crushes are you going to have? I got a lot of crushes, too. It's good. It's good. What's Fred Meyer? Is it ice cream? Oh geez, it's a it's a, it's a grocery store. It, it's a grocery store. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I forgot Fred Meyer's not everywhere. Um, no, yeah, because there's like got this, luckies in California. Yeah, there's a Swedish girl that was like, you know, in the self checkout lanes, either. you know, because they don't want to do the work anymore, and you go and do it. That, that yeah, thing. yeah. So I'm going in there. She walks up, and she's and, and I bought some vodka, you know, and you got an ID to. She's got a beep and stuff. She comes walking. And she goes, Oh, I know you're not 21. And he likes got, Asian yeah. girls already. So yeah, but that was an Asian. That. I know. I can't do like the, the Swedish thing, but it's pretty obvious. She had like deep blue eyes. And her hair crush. was black, you know, and she was like, yeah. This, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Super crush. I was like, she sounds oh, Russian for me. Yeah, well, even better. I mean, because he can't do I can't do it. it I can't right. do it. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, so I came home and told Sam, I was like, I got a crush. So yeah. we got, I got to oh, Saturday that. mornings. Yeah, that's cool. It was cool. Nothing energizes you quite like a, a new crush. Yeah, she made me feel happy. I know. I know. That's Sam. Great. Sam. That's great. That's great. See, like if any of those crushes could take him home, that would be even greater. But <laughs> for you <laughs> or him? But no, the, him. Like take. But see, like, she's crush. full of shit because Are if she was with crush? me, she would have crushed on her harder than I would have. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She would have. Like that's that's what the whole fight is about, Coco. Because we're gonna fight after this of who has the bigger crush on you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> is it me or is it yeah. him? Yeah. Yeah. Please let me know. Honestly, who wins. it's I can't me. Wait. Yeah. It's Google me. Google Kitty Fuck always wins. It's I fine. always win. It's fine. Whatever. I have bigger crush. I'm not sure. surprised. You're yeah. crushing yeah, As you should. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Tell us in Los Angeles. Jesus. <laughs> okay, Coco, Coco, really quick. You keep talking with your hand. I appreciate it because you said you're from New York and you have ADD. So I can really appreciate talking with your hands, always being active and doing shit with your hand like that. So you keep popping up your right hand. I noticed that you are wearing the same ring that you are wearing in the movie. So does that ring something that is specific to you or something special? Other hand. Sorry. Yeah. So isn't oh, the, is that small ring the same one that? you're wearing in the in I think Chuck has the bigger yeah. crush. Yeah. It probably is the same. <laughs> it's not even fair. No, he that's not even fair because he watched details. the movie finally this morning. We watched it like months ago. That's oh, not yeah, fair. He's fresh. Yeah, that's not fair, <laughs> fucker. And, and no, I'm we're But anyway, the point being is, yeah. Yeah. what's the significance to the ring as to... Why? Um, I mean, because you include it in your in the costume in the movie, so it's a good question. I know. You know what's funny? It's uh, I found this ring in a bathroom sink at a bar. What? These two rings? No kidding. Yeah. Um, I was working at the bar, so I was like always finding stuff, and <laughs> it, they're so nice. They're like real, and so they're just so simple. I always leave them on, and they've been in like every movie. That is. But there's also, I think there's some other jewelry that is like. If you pull your earrings out and say, I found these in the toilet, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> in the toilet. <laughs> it was in the sink. It was clean. But they're, like, so nice. Most, like, everybody else has a story, but I don't like to wear the ones that actually mean something to me. Me. I never, well, usually I don't bring those on a roll. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. That because the ones like, that you don't always bring with you, and they're with you on every roll. 
So that means when, something to you, whether you think it does or yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I just like to have some on. jewelry, like, and then I give it. I like these ones, for example, because they don't mean anything to me except for that. I like can give them like, oh, this is from this guy, or this mm -hmm. is from my mom in the character or whatever. Like I always oh, like to yeah, have a necklace or like have it. something yeah. Yeah. to give like a story to, to like connect to. Because I, I get it. in real life, like everything, like this means something, this means something, this, 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 like they all are, you know, significant, not like crazy meaning. I feel like this is my grandmother. And you have to touch them. Is... Yeah. So maybe Ooh. earlier, earlier in our discussion when we were saying it's not that deep, maybe we were wrong. Maybe it is that deep. <laughs> oh, is it maybe that like deep? It could be that deep. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> hold on, I'm plugging in my iPad. Um, Maybe everything Maybe. I do is really deep, I guess. <laughs> well, when I'm acting, it's I do really take deep, it really but you seriously. Just don't... Like, yeah, I take the acting stuff very serious. I get really nerdy about that. Yeah. I'm like, no. I used to be a little bit like, I'm not a theater kid, I'm cool. <clears throat> and I'm like, no, that stuff I really like, I take it very seriously. Well, you can Good tell. In, you. You know, and you're amazing at what you ways. do. So definitely found your niche in life, and, and you you're very good at it. Yeah, you're a fucking badass. Yeah, Literally, like we're all gonna fight. After you click off, we're all gonna fight about you. Yeah. We're yeah. Gonna do. No, <laughs> mine, my crush. <laughs> no, you're you're awesome. You're just awesome. Yeah. You're a good person. You're a happy person, and you're fun to be around and fun to talk to. Great vibe. Yeah, yeah I did. Well, exactly. I mean, yeah. honestly, I knew this was gonna be fun. I'm having a great time. We're, talking too yeah. much. I know we are out of time, but we would wish I know. we could talk to you for hours. Yeah, more. Well, I know we'll get it. You back on here, please. We have to. Yeah. Yeah. One of the next projects. Keep us in the loop. Get, yeah. Get in touch with us. Literally, and it'd yeah. be really fun to get yeah. you and Rick on. Yeah, I'd love to have both you guys on. Yeah, yeah let's, I would love let's, that. Let's, let's, let's tag team. Uh, let's, yeah. bring, <laughs> let's bring them back. It would be great. Tag team them together. It'd be mm -hmm. fun because yeah. then we could have two, yeah. two of the four most wonderful people on the show at the same time. That'd be great. Oh my gosh. That would be wild. Her and Rick. Can you imagine it? Oh, right. okay. me, and Rick. Oh, yeah. me and Rick. Me and Rick. You yeah, no, I, mean? I was talking about yeah, her. And Rick. Yeah. Oh my God, we would love that. <laughs> I miss him. Yeah, no, he's well, a great. Let's dude. make that happen. And he exactly. introduced yeah. us to you. Yeah. Which we were so happy to have you on. Thank you for coming on our yeah, show. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. Sharing, we had so much fun yourself. with you. We yeah. didn't even Absolutely. play a game, and we had fun with you. No, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to um, see. Um, send me like links to how I can watch. Y'all stuff. Oh, the horror verse. Tonight, eight o'clock yeah. yeah, Pacific Standard Time. Episode, <laughs> episode three. Oh, really? Oh, 8, 8 tonight. 8 p.m. on YouTube. Yeah. Yep, uh, Pacific Standard Time. Um, but if you can't make that, we'll definitely oh, send you right. off some. Um, we'll send some you links. links. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're up yeah. there. We got the shape. It's been up for about a year. It's kicking ass, and then our new horror cool. verse is up, and we're doing a eleven episode season of uh, whoa, just fun stuff. Yeah. So yeah. It's have you guys yeah, thing going on this is like i'm turning it around now and i'm oh. interviewing you have you guys like is youtube i felt like youtube had its world it's like day and then it kind of went away for a minute and now it's coming back yeah am i That's right why. or is that just like me no, living you're under right. a rock? you're, you're right. absolutely right this you're is right. why i got this boner to do this horror -ver stuff and not make a feature this next year and a half uh -huh. um, and i'm working on a youtube kick for some reason and everybody is asking me like Aaron why don't you just take what you guys are doing and make something original and go on YouTube and I, I just go and get it distributed and make some money and I'm like yeah that was the plan until I got this boner for YouTube because I think YouTube is a platform that I'm hearing a lot of filmmakers actually making some money on their indie films once they're monetized so when they're monetized on YouTube and YouTube pays pretty fucking good for a platform for filmmakers Mm -hmm. If if you've got a monetized channel and you make an indie film and you put it up there, you're going to do just fine. You'll do just as good as you do on Tubi or Amazon Prime, which is the, the shittiest one. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, it's it's just another great platform that you can reach a bigger mm -hmm. audience. It's a so great platform I, I for a lot of reasons. I think I it's mean, important. Everyone goes on YouTube. 
Everyone. Yeah. Everyone. At yeah. least right now, yeah. you, you can hit the world on YouTube where, mm -hmm. you know, some platforms are territorial, you know, like even Tubi. Yeah. You yeah. Know, if you don't have subtitling True. done right or the closed captions right, you're yeah. not going to get overseas unless right. you get international distribution. YouTube is not like it's that. You can just. First, yeah. It's you everywhere. got the planet. Mm -hmm. There's billions of people. Mm -hmm. You right. just got to get to them. Universal. Yeah. 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 And they yeah. like love it. They yes. love it. And everybody yeah. goes cool. to YouTube for whatever. So. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to work, Coco. I'm just try shit. We're just trying. I just try shit. Probably. Yeah. yeah just try I shit. I bet it'll work. Take it chances. Could. We take right. it serious. Chances. You know, it's not yeah. that deep, but we take it serious. It's not that deep. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. It's not that deep. deep. That's, yeah. that's actually the title of the show. That's the title. Yeah. It's not that deep. It's, yeah, exactly. I wrote that down, by the way. I did. That's yeah. good. Anyway, um, we'll let you go because yeah. your friend's it's about not to, that deep, but it's totally your, serious. Your friend's probably arriving like right about now because it's two thirty. So we gotta let yeah, you go we'll let to do your thing. But it's been amazing talking amazing. to you. You're so great. Thank yeah. you all, we all so much. You. We're it's all gonna fight This over was you. awesome. <laughs> I needed <pleasure>. this. <laughs> no, we did too. We, we did, did too. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Always. Conversations sometimes get us going for our next week. Or sometimes just talking Every, to each other is yeah. fucking exhausting. <laughs> yeah. 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 If, if it's just right. us, yeah. yeah. It sucks. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. I'm energized. Oh. Seriously, yes. it, it means a lot. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, thank we you so you. much. Yeah, we do. Chuck, close us out, buddy. Go, go. Thank you so much for joining us on Around the Real. Thank you for hanging out for a conversation with a whole bunch of creatives who like to go deep, but don't take it too seriously. Um, <laughs> we are all us are excited to talk to you so we want to have you back on the show again soon because you have an excitement to acting that we have as storytellers that we love so the fact that you're also a storyteller and you tell us that in the last part of our show is kind of like you know anticlimactic <laughs> the beginning part of the show is like she totally gets us oh my gosh we just, you know, you heard. but that's great to know but honestly yeah um can't wait to have you back on the show again. Send us everything that you're doing so that we know what's coming out. To give us an excuse to have you back on the show if we want to sell something, prompt something, or do something. Other than oh, yeah. that, um, thank you for spending the afternoon with us on a Saturday. Thanks for hanging out. Everybody out there, remember, thank God, because you're thinking anyway. See everybody later. Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you that want to be a guest on Around the Real, please email Sam at Around the Real 253 at gmail.com that's around the real 253 at gmail.com not messenger do not message aaron on messenger because then he has to send you a message that says email sam at around the real 253 at gmail.com that's around the real 253 at gmail.com how come they can't just message me again because nobody wants to fucking talk to you. <laughs> Can anybody reach out that's an artist, filmmaker, actor? If you're an artist of any kind, we want to hear from you. But we are going to vet the crap out of you. We don't care if you make millions of dollars in Hollywood or if you're just beginning your career in the art industry. We don't care. So everybody that wants to be on Around the Real, yes, we want you. That's Around the Real 253 at gmail.com.